everyone and welcome today we're gonna make a really fun apron um, this is a half apron it's so pretty and of course it has the patchwork design simple patchwork that you can make out of uh, charm squares or the five inch squares and this apron is also reversible so you have two aprons in one piece measurement of this apron is about 23 inches wide and 18 inches long if you need this to be larger in size you can simply add one more line of charm packs or if you need it longer you can also add one more row of charm packs and of course you need to adjust the reverse fabric accordingly having a bright and pretty apron will also motivate you to do cooking or doing house chores that you otherwise may be dreading i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any question of course you can ask me in the comment section down below and happy 4th of july if you live in the states i hope you're having a good time um, with your friends and family. With all that being said, let's get started to our tutorial. For this project, you're gonna need 24 pieces of charm packs or the 5 inch squares, about 3 quarter of a yard of coordinating fabric for the reverse side of the apron and the strap as well. Some lace trim to embellish your apron, but this is totally optional. You can skip this or you can use different kind of trim if you wish to. Lay your charm squares just like so. So you want to have 4 rows of charm square and each row will have 5 charm squares. Once you're happy with the layout of your charm square, go ahead and start sewing them together one row at a time. And of course you're going to sew them with quarter inch of seam allowance. You're going to press each of this row towards the opposite side. So for example, if this row is pressed towards your right side and the second row should be pressed to your left and the third row will be pressed towards the right and the last row will be pressed towards the left. This way when you start sewing each row together, it's easier to nest the seams. Lay your first and the second row right side together nest the seams just like so. You can go ahead and pin them in place if necessary and then go ahead and sew with quarter inch of seam allowance. If you're going to add any embellishment or trim for your apron, this is the time to do it. So I'm going to attach my lace trim here. So the way I'm going to sew this might be a little different than what we would normally do when attaching any kind of trim. Because I actually don't want this lace to be sticking out from my fabric but rather kind of blend in with the fabric if that makes sense. So I align the edges of my lace with the edges of the bottom part of my fabric and then I'm going to stitch along the edges. Then I'm gonna trim off the excess lace. Lay your first packet pieces right side together and then you're going to sew all around with quarter inch of seam allowance, leaving about 4 inches of opening at the upper top. And then you're going to trim off the corners here. Just be careful not to cut through the stitches. Then you're going to turn this piece inside out through the opening. I'm going to use my knitting needle here to poke all the corners. You can also use chopstick or skewer or a point turner if you have one. When you're done, go ahead and fold the opening hole in about quarter inch and then you're going to give this a quick press. Now go ahead and top stitch on the upper top where the opening hole is. And I also decided to add the, a little bit of lace trim at the bottom part of my pocket just to add more fun. Now you're going to place your pocket on your apron piece. So the edge of my pocket is a slide off the center, a slide towards the left but not all the way down. And it is positioned 4 inches from the top. You can obviously place your pocket in any position that you like. You can do a little bit of assessment and once you're happy with how your pocket looks, go ahead and pin that in place and sew along the sides and the bottom as well. So at the top corners of my pocket here, I like to sew 
like a diagonal angle line just to add extra reinforcement so I sew back and forth a couple of times now we're going to work on the reverse side of the apron so I choose a fabric that is more neutral for this but of course you can choose any fabric that you like and be as playful as you want so for the second pocket piece we're gonna use four charm packs and you're gonna lay them just like so so you will have two rows with each two charm packs once you're happy with the arrangement go ahead and sew them together with quarter inch of seam allowance lay the pocket piece with the pocket lining right side together and then you're going to sew them with quarter inch of seam allowance leaving about four inches of opening on the upper top of the pocket and once you've done sewing go ahead and trim off all the edges without cutting through the stitches so you're going to do pretty much the same way as you did the first pocket piece once you've got your second pocket ready to go you're going to position this on the center of your second apron piece just like so about four inches from the top once you've done that you're going to stitch all along the side and the bottom and of course the diagonal angle on the top corners as well to make the straps for the apron you're going to cut from the width of your fabric two strips measuring three inches wide so I folded my fabric twice widthwise and then I'm going to measure 3 inches and cut with my rotary cutter so since this is a quilt weight fabric I should end up with about 44 inches um, long strip um, after I cut off the selvage and yours may be a slight different but I would say as long as you're staying between 40 and 45 inches it should be good to make the strap you're going to lay your strip right side up and then fold this in half just like so and then you're going to press this and once you've done that at one of the end of your strap you're going to um, take your ruler and make a diagonal angle just like so um, about a couple inches away from the end of the strap and then go ahead and cut with your rotary cutter and once you've done that you're going to sew along the edges and once you get to the corner just pivot and sew along the diagonal angle and we're going to sew this with quarter inch of seam allowance when you're done you're going to trim off this uh, little corner here without cutting through the stitches of course and I forgot to mention that you're not supposed to sew the other end of the strap so leave this one open to actually turn the strap inside out now we're going to turn this inside out start by um, separating this fabric a little bit just like so then you're going to use some kind of blunt end object I'm using my crochet hook here so what you're gonna try to do is to push this um, corner first towards the inside it may be a little hard in the beginning but once you get it going it's actually pretty easy so just keep pushing so you're just gonna keep pushing until you get to the other side of your strap once you've turned your strap inside out go ahead and give this a quick press and then top stitch along the edges once you've sewn both of your straps you're going to lay them on the upper top of your apron piece about 5 8 of an inch from the top just like so and you want to make sure that the edges of your strap is aligned with the side edge of your apron pin that in place and you want to do the same with the other side of your apron then go ahead and stitch them in place with a quarter inch of seam allowance 
Now we're going to start assembling this apron. So lay your first apron piece right side up. And then I want to fold this lace towards the apron. Now take your second apron piece and lay that right side down. Pin them in place and then you're going to sew all around with half an inch of seam allowance leaving about 8 to 10 inches of opening on the upper top to turn this apron inside out. And once you've done sewing, go ahead and trim off all the corners. Then turn your apron inside out through the opening hole. Again, I'm going to poke the corners using my knitting needle. Fold the edges of the opening hole towards the inside about half an inch and then you're going to give this a quick press. Next, you're going to top stitch all around the edges. So I'm going to top stitch this with 1 8 of an inch of seam allowance and I use my walking foot here because that's just a personal preference. I simply like the stability that I got by using walking foot. So you are pretty much done at this point. The very last thing that I need to do is just to tuck stitch the edges of this lace. So I'm just gonna stitch right on the top of the scallop shape of the edge of this lace. And I'm not gonna sew all of this. I only gonna sew the one in the center here and one on each side just to keep this in place. And when I stitch this, I didn't stitch all the way to the bottom, so I insert my needle only through the first fabric. And that's pretty much it guys, our apron is done. That's all I have for you today guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time with another fun sewing project. Goodbye!